I called Miguel, the bus dude. Oh, okay. I called him and he said that it's just coincidence. The alarm has nothing to do with the engines not starting. Oh, so, yippee, we have a dead battery. We believe the battery is dead, so we're trying to jump start it right now. Not working. Oh, no. oh, we can't even seem to find the battery. So I, that, it, it looks Look at like the symbol right there, though. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's not a battery. That's not a battery. Well, is it a bus battery? I don't think so. Maybe it don't look like a normal battery. We could try and put it back on that and see, but well, we'll do it tomorrow. Next morning, we're attempting to jump start it again, except this time with the truck. All right. This is it. I feel it. Dang it. Dang it. That means our battery is like gone. We're gonna have to replace the battery for sure. Yeah, that thing's extra dead. Was it like that before? Yeah. I don't know. Try it. Was it? I think so. Oh. oh, to where it like lifts up like that? Probably. I thought it was like that. Oh, Slam it harder. No, lift it up and then there. just drop. Oh, it went in. Did you get it? Yeah. So a little update on the battery situation. Found them underneath the bus here. And we're trying to knock them out. I might be able to lift it up. I'm taking off the connectors right now, so if, I don't know if you can see this. This was the positive connector right here I just took off. Now I'm going to take off the black uh, ground connector, which is right here. Both of these batteries are hardwired together, and what's cool is they installed a cut switch right here. So if I turn this on, the batteries turn on. If I turn this off, the batteries turn off. Like, you can hear it. I probably shouldn't do it right now, but if I turn that on, you can hear it uh, turn on in the bus. We gotta replace these suckers. And this is the problem is that there's only this much space. So I don't know if I'm gonna be able to lift it off or like how the heck this is gonna work, but I guess we'll see. That front door doesn't swing open? No, dude. Yeah, I don't know how I'm gonna get this out. What about this, what about this side? Right there, those right there. Yeah, I could actually take that off. That actually probably would have been the smarter option. What do we have here? Dude, serious, like this is literally the hardest battery change I've ever done in my life. Usually batteries are like, oh, okay, cool. You just take off the two little clamps on top, take the battery out, go exchange it. This, I have to take We're hoping that they have uh, replacement batteries. They should. 18, 1200 CCs. So here's the thing, trying yeah. to find a battery with 1200 CCs, that's gonna be a special order. Oh, okay. These, you'd probably wanna just leave strictly for the engine okay if you're turning it into like an rv of some yeah. type you add the solar kit and go run deep cycles this one yeah, it says charge required but it's it's so low on the cold cranking amps i wouldn't even bother with it okay this one might actually be salvageable if you want to keep it i'm okay. trying to charge it no uh, i'm just gonna get two new batteries all right yeah they didn't have the 850 ccas so we got a 900, so basically this thing's a little bit more powerful than the previous batteries that we had in the bus. We should not have any problems with starting this bus. I'm gonna modify that housing for the uh, batteries. I have no idea how I'm gonna do this, but I'm gonna do it. Can I just cut off one side? Because it would be nice if I could just at least mount this side in the same holes. It's only off literally an inch for those new batteries. So I modified these. So I cut off the front top, front side. That way um, it's a lot easier to take the batteries out. I'm just going to cut holes in the, these right here so I can put a strap around the front just so the battery kind of stays in place. And I'm going to put brackets to connect these two pieces, but it should work out fine. Cool. Got it. Let's try and bend this. Almost. Kind of works. Yeah, it's 
getting there. I'm mounting these back up and then I'm gonna put Velcro on the front to keep the batteries in place. Reattach the batteries once these are mounted and hopefully start the bus. We are still trying to figure it out. So me and Ashley literally taken like 20 trips to AutoZone, 20 trips to freaking Home Depot. The wiring under there is absolute trash. Not a good sign. Can you flip that switch back? The off? I think that's why. I think it's reversed. If it's off, it's on. If it's on, it's off. You hear that? Yeah. Dude, it is. It's reversed. I love that. That's a good sound. I spent two days under this bus. Can we go to a tropical smoothie? Yeah, you want to? Tropical smoothie. After I back the bus. We're going to check out a trailer that we can possibly pull behind the school bus. Yeah, it's a little red wagon. Yeah. So it's this is very sturdy. Oh, oh. oh come out. Come here, come here. They're so we might leave with a dog and not a trailer. 550? Yeah. We're taking her home. Where Ash and I will sleep. Yeah. yeah I'm gonna have to I'm definitely gonna fix him up a little bit. We could totally make all of this storage and make really long. You remember those like long drawers the that you can almost out? pull out yeah. all the way? Okay, your bed up here. up here and give it this much more length. You could make it from here, your bed from here, this end of the wheel well to that end of the wheel well. So we got our sink. It's stainless steel. We don't really like the stainless steel look with the wood that we're putting in there. So we're gonna paint it white. First, you wanna wash it with a degreaser to get all the gunk out and then you're gonna sand it down. After that, we're gonna put a metal etching primer on it. You wanna use two-part epoxy paint. When you're doing stainless steel, it will really stick into that fine metal and it won't like chip or wear off eventually. Between each coat, you wanna sand it down again with like 320, 350 sandpaper. Sand it down the whole sink. So we're gonna add probably like two or three coats. Between each <laughs> coat, you wanna wait till it dries for a couple minutes and then you're good to go. Get the lid off. <laughs> Homie, you gotta go back to the gym. Wait, wait, wait. Uh, squeeze and pull. Homie, that's green. It makes sense though, because it looks matte. It's a primer, you're gonna white, white over it anyway. Right? Yeah. Ashley was spraying and she didn't have her fume mask on. Everyone yell at her. <laughs> It's not that green, it's just a little green. You let it dry and then touch it up. If it was clear, you would still have that metallic shine coming through? Yeah, it's a primer. Yeah, so it makes sense that it is like a colored matte. You get rid of that metal shine and then when you put the white paint on it, it's gonna look like uh, porcelain. She has candy corn in her hand and she's eating it. And she literally just said, I'm desperate. <laughs> so there's proof. There's proof that candy corn is it's, delicious. It's not delicious, and she's but eating it's better it right than now. nothing. Her argument is invalid. We are about to go paint that sink, but we just realized it's pretty windy right now. All right, we're just gonna do it. We don't really wanna wait. Tip, do not use an electric sander because it takes off the primer too much and I had to reprime it. It's not plugged in. What? <laughs> it's not plugged in, Ashley. <laughs> it went in. started spraying and it was like shooting everywhere and I got it all over your dad's new. Oh. Yeah. It kind of, a lot of it came off because we used paint thinner, but um. That's <laughs> yeah, not a big deal. So this is the actual sink. I don't think I've even seen this yet. Yeah, this is the actual sink. And this is just like one layer too. I thought we were going to need a lot more. I should do it. Just try this again. <laughs> 